aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to yet another episode, of course, of Who Was Really Better. And today's episode, we are going to focus on, of course, the massive threat that is Lucario from Generation 4 versus Cobalion, the legendary from Generation 5, both, of course, with exclusive fighting steel type and trust me on this they actually have a lot of things in common even though they're used differently they are both optimized for different time of mindsets to be used they're not used together due to of course the unique typing that they do share together so with that out of the way let's actually go over of course their stat distribution first of all both of course have an immunity to poison and strongly resist bug and rock and of course resist a plethora of moves after that with dark Dragon Grass Eyes, Normal and Steel, which is just incredible. It's definitely a very, very good defensive typing, while of course being weak to Fighting Fire and Ground, which are definitely common, but they are easily voided, since of course they are very, very easy to synergize. Hell, both are easy to synergize with. And they both have access to Justified, which only makes it that much more prominent that they actually have a similar kind of mindset in mind on how to be used. So if one were to look, of course, these two side by side and realize, of course, the stats between them, one would easily see that Cobalion has the better HP and defenses, making it slightly more bulkier. It doesn't, of course, have the exact same stat distribution in its attack and special attack, but is slightly speedier. While Lucario, of course, having definitely less of the bulk, it does have a great split in its attack and special attack, both 110 and 115, which is, well, in lack of a better word, it's pretty darn threatening, really. They both have pretty pitiful special defenses, even if Cobalion do have more HP, so it should be considered the bulkier one, it still doesn't help it as much as one would hope, but those extra defenses is of course what makes Cobalion survive an earthquake while Lucario just gets flattened by it. But it doesn't end there, one really has to consider what can Cobalion do that of course Lucario cannot. Well, first of all, Volt Switch, it's speedier, it can set up Stealth Rocks, it's a more reliable pirate Pokemon, it definitely has the stamina to keep itself going. It can also set up Sword Stance, and while they both share this, Cobalion is the safer to do in just so. But that is kind of where it all ends. Cobalion has a lot of really nice niches going for it, but Stealth Frogs is definitely its primary use, it's a great lead, it's speedier enough, and it's definitely able to deal with a lot of course fairy typing, which are prominent in UU if anything. And then, of course, we start looking for Lucario. Lucario, of course, with its mixed special attack and attack, is able to do a lot more damage to, of course, the team. Life Orb is definitely helping it out. The speed is what kind of cripples it. Night base speed just ensure that there are a few things there that can threaten it out. And Lucario do not like Scarf. It definitely needs to have, of course, the mix going. While, of course, Scarf is a viable option, you really want to optimize Lucario's superb set, which is not only Sword Stance as Cobalion has, or Calm Mind as Cobalion has, but Nasty Plot and priority moves such as Vacuum Wave and Bullet Punch, it does actually hurt. If you're able to set up something with Lucario, you're very, very likely, if you slow out speed, to actually sweep the team completely. While Lucario lacked, of course, the speed as stated, and of course, Stealth Rocks and Pirates, such as, of course, U Turn or Volt Switch, Lucario kind of stands tall for being just the more ferocious Pokemon easily alone compare of course these two to one another but that is a quick rundown what keeps Cobalion of course holding it back is of course that it doesn't hurt as much as Lucario it definitely lacks like stated proper recovery and of course its special attack and an attack at 90 do not scare that many Pokemon granted it has the proper stabs which means the stab moves does hurt but it has one perk on it, and it's bulky enough to set up, which makes Cobalion a bit more interesting. And also, due to the speed, it's able to actually get out of a tougher situation, while comparing it that to Lucario, which of course, rarely actually can set up freely. It needs to be in actually a, a scenery that it actually just are able to soak a hit. While, of course, the Fighting Steel type gives up for resisted damage, there is a difference between Cobalion taking a resisted hit and Lucario taking a resisted hit. When Cobalion takes the resisted hit, it just doesn't show. When Lucario takes it, it it hurts. It actually still hurts. And a super effective hit is more often than not likely to actually one-shot, of course, Lucario, due to the bulk it lacks. 
So what it all gonna boil down to is which one is better even with this in mind? Well, Lucario is overall the superb sweeper and clearly are a lot lot better Cabalion at that. But when it comes to team synergy, sadly one must say that overall Cabalion might just actually make the cut a lot better than Lucario does. So the winner between these two are definitely Cobalion. But I will state this, the only reason Cobalion is to be considered better is because it's stated that it synergizes better and its stamina simply holds it on a lot better actually. While Lucario does match well with any hyper offensive team due to this hyper offensive nature, Cobalion can ensure with self rocks and Volt Switch that any other hyper offensive mon can come in get the residual damage and do the work that Lucario do, but probably do that a lot safer in the long run. So while I do think Lucario is the funnier mod to use, I really can't deny that Cabellion simply has the things that makes it more reliable and relevant in the meta over Lucario. So what do you guys think? As stated here, I actually I'm more for Lucario, but I really have to see the overall preference here that Cabellion simply can do the other things that Lucario can't. And even though Lucario's move pool is a lot, lot better, it just doesn't hold a candle to the supporting mood, of course, Cabellion does. But who do you guys prefer? Do you guys see Lucario as being the supreme between these two? And if so, make sure to, of course, write that down below. And of course, which one do you guys want to see compared? And uh, with that said, I want to, of course, thank you so much for watching. A bit short episode this time. There really wasn't too many things to stay outside of what these two do. They do their things really well, it just isn't that complex every time. Um, and with that said guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.